traveled overseas, out of India. See how proudly each and every one of you is raising your hand. You people are the ones who are responsible for a bad name for Indians outside. <laughs> now imagine Toastmaster Raja getting out at the US airport, spreading his mediocrity in his own way. Hello everyone! How are you beautiful? How are you today? Now there's a college by the name Informatics in Singapore. They happen to be our sponsors for one of the event. So I tied up with them and I got 14 people, including me, to Informatics for a certification course. Neither Informatics nor I had any idea of what is in store for each one of us. Apparently, 10 of us were traveling overseas for the very first time. So in the flight, we had a beautiful girl by the name Aditi. Now Aditi was traveling on a flight for the very first time. So somehow, we convinced Aditi. Aditi, you know, these people from Indigo Airlines have been unfair to us. In a domestic flight, they haven't provided us with a TV. And she was like, yeah. In English, English too, I saw that there was a TV in front of the screen. So she calls the air hostess, please come here. And in a very stern voice, she asks, I want a TV right here. And the air hostess, you want a what? A TV? The air hostess had the shock of her life. And then she said, we don't offer one. Finally, we reached Singapore. So we had one more girl, her name was Shrishti. She came, she came up to me and she asked, Rahul sir, though the flight was very comfortable, but wasn't the space very crammed up? I mean, for the complete eight hours, I was all but still at one place. So I told her, there's a pushback option, you know. <laughs> she said, is it? I'm not aware about it. Then comes, comes our third character. His name is Sahil Vatwa. Now, how many of you know what a panda is? I won't say it. So a panda apparently sleeps for 12 hours a day. And that is exactly how he was. He came up to me and said, you know Rahul, till the time I sleep for 12 hours, I don't feel refreshed from within, you know. I don't feel energetic. So please allow me to sleep. Even in the classes. And in our classes, we were always sleeping. And we had an energetic Singaporean trainer training us. And all of us were sitting over there with our heads down. But we had one thing in common. Whenever any question was asked, each one of us in unison replied, Yes, sir. Then we were again down there. Are you understanding people? Yes, sir. So we were always energetic. Now, we had a sick boy, Karamji. He was all but always energetic about everything that was happening. And he had a special tone of his. He was always up to me, you know, Rahul bro, you know, this happened bro, and I was so energetic bro. And you know, bro, those girls there bro, it was wonderful bro, everything bro, 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 bro. Okay, cool down. So I had to cool him down at every stage. Now we were having lunch one fine day. So during lunch, I told Karamji, Karamji, can you please help me? Just go to the lady over there, tell her that we need some extra cream. He was like, okay sir, I'll do it sir, no worries sir. So he goes up to the lady. And for complete five minutes, he was all energetic and had exaggerated movements and explained to her what not. I could just see his hands moving, his body moving and things moving and then he came back to me. And he said, bro, it didn't work this time. Then I called the lady. I simply asked her, ma'am, can we have a gravy, extra portion of gravy? And to my surprise, within two minutes, with a smile, the gravy was present in front of us. Now I don't have no idea of what Karamji interacted with that lady. Now we went to a place which is known by Universal Studios. So in Universal Studios, all the men that I had with me were completely fascinated by Cleopatra and Marlene Munro. And they looked at her with so much of hunger in their eyes that even Cleopatra looked at the staff and was like, can someone get me a dupatta please? <laughs> These people are terrified. Now came the time of a humongous ride. So in Singapore, you have the largest of rides. Now I don't know what you people think about a ride, but for me, I hate rides. I mean, what is the point of me giving so much of money in dollars only to be hung upside down in front of people and shouting? 
Now when I went on to that ride with so much of courage, I tell you how it went. So in the first extent, my position was something like this. Within two seconds, it was something like this. Within five seconds, I was like this. Within ten seconds, I was something like this. And then in the rest of the ride, I was this, 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 this. And the ride completed within 70 seconds. But with so much of cuss words that flowed, it was tough. Trust me. So now, because we were on the tightest of budgets, so we were staying in a hostel and not a hotel. So we had a plan. Reshu goes to the bathroom. Saurabh goes to the washroom because we just had one washroom over there. So we had a plan. Reshu goes to the bathroom. Saurabh goes to the washroom. Karamji does the ironing. I do my brushing. Then again, we swap positions. Now Saurabh goes to a bath. Karamji does the ironing. Tanushri comes in and she brushes her teeth. And immediately, all four of us were continuously shifting positions. And at various times, we had food in a Gurudwara because money was not at eye side. Then came the time that I dreaded the most, the time of the presentation. I knew that till now, we have not done anything in favor of the Indians by coming here to Singapore. But to my utter surprise, I was pleasantly surprised because each one in my team gave a thunderous presentation. And the Singaporeans said that our complete perception about the Indians have changed them. Trust me, that was a moment of pride for me because I realized that just like there are five fingers in a hand, with each finger being completely different, but when all of them join together, they make a team. And in a team, you can only win when together everyone achieves more. And that is exactly what we did over there. And I realized that a team is as good or as bad as a leader. So as a leader, it is up to me or up to each one of you who's sitting in this room to make your team a formidable team which is capable of winning. So the next time around, when you take your team members to a foreign trip, always remember to tell them each and every protocol and not make fun of them, just like Toastmaster Rajadev. Thank you.